Bernstein Bears Night Before Christmas. By Mike Bernstein. All right. The Night Before Christmas. It was Christmas Eve in the Bear family's treehouse, and they, and they were more than ready for a visit from Santa Claus. Their tree was beautifully decorated. Their stockings were carefully hung by the fireplace. Brother, sister, and honey even put out a snack of milk and cookies for Santa. Good idea, said Papa. Sliding down chimneys is hard work. Old St. Nicholas will be hungry. St. Nicholas, said Brother. Who's he? That's an old name for Santa Claus, explained Mama. Or he was just called St. Nick. St. Nick, repeated Sister. That's cute. There's a famous poem, old poem, about him, said Papa, getting a dusty book down from the shelf. Let's read it together. Actually, said Brother, we are planning to watch the Nutty Bears meet Santa Claus on TV. It's our Christmas Eve tradition. Mama didn't think the Nutty Bears were very Christmassy. All they did was hit one another over the head. I think it's time to start a new Christmas Eve tradition, she said firmly. TV isn't everything. There's such a thing as a plain old fashioned book. Papa opened the book, and the cubs saw its brightly colored pictures. It looked pretty interesting. Go ahead and read it, Papa, said Sister. So Papa began to read. A visit from St. Nicholas. A visit from St. Nicholas. "'Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house "'not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. "'The stockings were hung by the chimney with care "'in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. "'The children were nestled all snug in their beds, "'while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. "'And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pine of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled! His dimples, oh, how merry! His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. He had a broad face and little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, Eve, he dro oh, ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Papa closed the book. Well, how did you all like a visit from St. Nicholas, he asked. Shh, said Mama, the cubs were all asleep. Papa and Mama carried the cubs upstairs and nestled them down all snug in their beds. 
Sometimes, said Mama, as they kissed the cubs good night, there's just nothing like a good book. They went to bed themselves and settled down for a long winter's nap. The bear family was ready for their very own visit from St. Nicholas. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night! Say adios! Adios!